Overgrown and boxed in by the Northern Hills subdivision on one side, then an elementary school on the other, volunteers worked to clear what had been sacred ground. Yet now the Hockley Clay Cemetery is well on its way to becoming the historic site that it is. Jesse Degollado has an update on what was a surprising revelation about this historic African-American cemetery. And with that, so begins the latest chapter in a seven-year-long saga of the once lost Hockley Clay Cemetery. By removing the fences of two neighboring properties, some 6,000 square feet revert back to the descendants of a former slave who'd had a ranch out here. And so now, we can uh, apply for historic designations. Known nationally for his historic preservation work, Everett Fly says having those historic designations will protect the site from any further encroachment. Any changes, any sales of the surrounding properties, uh, it'll be clear where the boundaries are. Unlike when two neighbors bought their homes, there was no survey, but there is now. Fly had one done. Eventually, he says the homeowners gave up part of what had been their backyards. Knowing the boundaries, he says, also will help archaeologists look for artifacts or any signs of burials. Texas A&M already had used surface and ground penetrating radar as part of the investigation. But as far as locating the actual grave sites, no excavations are planned. We're just going to keep uh, refining that data that A&M uh, at College Station gathered. The new fences, where they should be, bring the cemetery that much closer to the reality that descendants had hoped for, a way to connect to their cherished past. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.